really hate to be the one to break this to you, but there are things occurring on Neopets right now, and we're gonna explore them together. Hand and unlovable hand, we're gonna really get into the dirt here, okay? First of all, I have some updates for you on my little hellhole collection of animals. I made Fangura right here a girlfriend, all right? I'm allowed to do that, by the way, just so you know, I'm allowed to. Here's Fangura's custom. I thought, you know, with her pastel goth vibe that she needed a friend. She needed somebody to lean on. So I made the one, the only, Stabrina with the new dye works. I think she looks so cute, right? Oh my god, is she not the girl of the year? Look at that animated background coming in, are you kidding me? Tyra Banks would walk outside and jump off a bridge if she saw Stabrina, and I live by that, okay? Look at her, she's beautiful. So that is Fangirl's new girl. I do love that they finally got all of the customization stuff converted into HTML5. Unfortunately, that has left some of my customs in the dirt a little bit. We have Scully here based on the X-File. She looks great in my dock, you know? She's looking fantastic. She looks like she's gonna have a slow burn with a co-worker for eight seasons. But then, like, we click right here, we go to details. Where is her sleigh little coat? Excuse me, where is her sleigh little coat? What is that about? Who stole it from her? She's got no fucking pants on. What am I supposed to do here? I ask you this. Please, like, don't worry about everybody else's customs and worry about mine specifically. I just need that coat put in. Thank you. I would really appreciate that. But otherwise, you know, I'm having a ball. Look at that filter. She looks great. That is not what this video is about, though, and I like to ramble about myself. So the first most glaring issue here is if we go to Neopia Central. So we go to the grooming parlor, right? Excuse me, the bang. The bang is insane. Look at that. I strive for that every day of my life. Are you kidding me? I know this is supposed to be like harrowing and terrifying, but like, can you believe that? The body to it? I'm sick to my stomach and not because I'm worried about this woman. Not sure what's going on with the bang right here. We're struggling a bit right here. Blah, what a dreary day. What do you want? An item? You can click on them yourself. I need a break. Real, first of all. Me too, bitch. Me too. Oh my god, me too. I am so tired, but that's not the point. If you're new here in Neopia, all right, this shopkeeper does not normally look like this. She looks like this. Either she just found out that Gerard Way is still looking banging at 46, or something's going on, and I could understand either. On both fronts, I think we're good to go, but that is a little bit odd on its own, and funnily enough, this was not the first shopkeeper to go emo. Let's head back over here to Uni's clothing, and we can see somebody else joining the Black Parade here, and that is what interests me, because some people were theorizing this was early gray day, and I could understand that, but I don't think it is, because TNT themselves have posted about this, on their social medias, on their buzzy little social medias, and I don't think they would post about a mistake. Me personally, I wouldn't do that because I have horrible, horrible social anxiety. Oh my god, the hair. Are you kidding me? Like, why did they make her look so good? The platinum. It's beautiful. If I thought I could maintain gray hair, oh my god, I would have it. It's okay. I understand if you don't like anything. Have I always had such poor taste? I mean, I feel like the casual grundo scarf isn't really doing it for me, but no, you're okay. You know, you're fine. You're gorgeous. Look at those cute little sunnies. She's pulling them off, all right? There's nothing wrong with you. You're doing great. You look even better nowadays, okay? Don't even worry about it. As I'm sure you've gleaned by now, Uni's clothing shop did not look like this before. So, what's going on? What's happening? Well, TNT has actually brought up a new plot that's coming out sometime in this quarter, I believe was mentioned. So, this could be our first sign of that new plot, or it could just be some random shit, we don't know. But I kind of feel like it's the plot. If you haven't seen the precursors, during the advent calendar, there were some lovely comics put out. They were beautifully drawn, kind of galaxy themed. We got a background, it was fantastic, everyone cheered, but that was pretty much all of the- what the fuck is going on at the money tree? What is this? Okay, great, thank you. Fantastic, just doing my dailies, you know? Wasn't really thinking about that, but all right. I'm kind of thinking we're gonna have a Dr. Sloth resurgence because it's space themed, but I don't know. I feel like they could totally do something with Mira. There's something interesting there. But honestly, as a pure 2014 fan, I love the galaxy. I want a galaxy paintbrush or like a space paintbrush that isn't alien. Because as much as I love alien, and I do, I'm an alien fan, you know, we can only get the alien eyeshadow 
Alicia. Nothing of interest. Can you fuck off, please? Can you leave me alone? I'm trying to be a reporter here, okay? I'm trying to be the truth. I'm trying to tell the truth through my journalism, and you're giving me nothing, no funding? Really? Okay, well, thank you. Thank you so much for gotten sure. When democracy crumbles, you'll be right there with it. Thank you. I believe at one point, Dress to Impress had like a fake nebula color. Dress to Impress is a really nice website and a fantastic resource for trying on different Neopet clothing, by the way, if you didn't know, but they did do a fake nebula color, so I feel like that's something people would want. However, I am not the CEO of Neopets, obviously, so I don't know. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this plot. Do you think we're gonna get some kind of like depression arc? Because that would be a really interesting idea to have it kind of tie into your pet's happiness and have your pets be actually intertwined with the story. I think that would be really interesting. I think that would be really cool. Damn, I'm doing really good at fairy caverns. Now I'm scared. Do I stick with right? Uh, I'm just gonna close my eyes and pick one. <gasps> oh my god, I caught winning fairy caverns on camera. Should I go out and buy a lottery ticket? Should I go to the grocery store and hope nobody's there to interrupt me in my shopping time? What do we got? 819 Neo points. Okay. Wow. All right. Thank you for that. I gave that so much hype and got nothing back. Cool. Whatever. That's fine. That's okay. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. It's fine. I'm not worried. I'm okay. Fiora, when I get you, Fiora. When I get you, Fiora. Speaking of Fairyland, I am really curious about the fairies' involvement in this because during the fairy festival, we kind of got a cliffhanger. I think it could have something to do with like environmental impact and maybe like space's involvement of that. I don't know. Really? Three defense points? Ugh. I have not been having good zaps on Gemma. I don't know why. I feel like she's cursed. I've had her for like a year. She's just been sitting after somebody wonder traded me her. I'm so sorry if it was you who wonder traded me Gemma. I swear. I'm so sorry. I've been trying to trade her, but it hasn't been working because nobody needs her, apparently. So I feel like this is really Neil Pet's comeback, you know, having a plot, having a real storyline going. I'm wondering how in-depth it's gonna be, how much player participation it's gonna need. I feel like that could draw a lot of people back into Neil Pets. A lot of people, especially who haven't experienced a plot before like me or have only like replayed plots. I'm really interested. I feel like this could be Neopets' like saving grace and I think that they have a good shot at getting a real story together. So many of the people on the team right now are so fucking talented. Oh my god. Anthony Connolly, incredible. Like there are so many fantastic people working there right now. Whoever is revving their goddamn truck outside, I am taking care of real news right now, Mr. Big Ass Truck. Leave me alone. Anyway, I feel like this could really be a breath of fresh air for Neopets. I haven't done my dailies in like a few days because I've been in a fallout hole and a stardew valley hole because of the 1.6 update so i really need to get back on my game i've been leaving my pets to die even though they're all in the neo lodge and won't die they've been being pampered but i like to blame myself for things but the plot clues are not the only thing going on if you are into ncucs so if we head on over to the styling studio right here we will be able to see that everything looks normal but all of the former ncucs have been swapped out so gray fairy and derrigan will no longer be available, and they have been replaced with Plushy, Baby, and Moroquin. Now, as you can see at the top there, they are not the only new things that have joined the NCUC ranks. We also have an NCUC alien Aisha, which is so great. Look how cute these babies are. Oh my god, I love the NCUC plushies. They're adorable. The babies are really cute. Most of the babies did not make it through conversion, so it's really nice to see those back. So if you wanted some UC babies and you never got the chance to have them, you can now get pretty much any of them. We also have Moroccan right here, and a new permanent color has joined the ranks. We have Jelly. Now, Jelly did not make it past conversion at all. There were no Jelly UCs available after 2007, so none of these have been available for so many fucking years now, but at this point, you can get them whenever you want. Only a few pets have this Jelly color. The Aisha didn't. The Bori doesn't. But if we go down here to the Poogle, we can see that we have a Jelly Poogle here. The Nostalgic MSP is still here. These guys up here at the top are permanent. We have these two together, which is insane, by the way. This combo would knock out a small child. Look at them. Oh my god, that thing looks so fucking anxious. I feel terrible. Are you okay? Do you want a Xanax? Like, can I help you? Do you need something? Are you all right, sweet child? And then we have, like, the Pac-Man emoji child. This thing was raised on an iPad love it. I want to punch it into a dartboard, you know, like a nerf gun. I just want to toss that thing. I don't know why. My god, look at the head on him. Jesus, that guy is thinking. 
my god he's thinking can you believe that that is a chunky noggin that is just a huge melon right there and we have the jelly shoiru right here who doesn't have a mouth but he must scream my personal favorite out of this release is the nostalgic plushy walkie look at him oh my god is he polite can you believe that can you believe that polite little face look at his stance incredible you would not see a little guy this polite just anywhere but if you like him too you can actually just get the regular supply set because he is the only option so there's no gotcha element there little life hack for you you don't have to pay seven dollars i mean the heads on these children oh my god what do you need all that space for like i can't imagine you thinking that hard what are you thinking about cheetos having grimy little cheeto hands there are a couple of these designs that fill me with fear especially the maracuan akara i'm not sure what's happening here i'm really not and i don't know if i want to know it feels like a government secret that i just don't want to have in my head for my own mental health i assume nuclear waste i assume she is a fallout type creature but you know okay i'm sure somebody will love this look at that drake are you serious and my fucking god is he looking get that thing some fucking contacts what is he doing oh my god what is he doing help him jesus I'm afraid, but the plushie is so cute. Oh my god, that little face. That little face. Plushie UCs back in the day were very, very rare and very hard to get. They were tier 9 or 10 usually. There were a couple in the lower tiers, but you can now get them whenever you want, which is fantastic. I would suggest definitely getting a couple while they're around because I feel like these guys will retain value pretty well. We have not really seen how the value of retired NCUCs shifts yet. I haven't seen too much demand for Jerrigans yet because I feel like a lot of people got them but we'll see we'll see keep a hold on your old ncucs that you don't want maybe they'll go up in value the entire trading market in terms of ncucs is very odd so i'm very interested let me know do you guys think it's going to deflate do you think the older ones are going to steadily go up in value what are your thoughts here and do you care for him that is my most important question do you care for him if you do have plans to get one of these ncucs i would suggest buying your studio supplies right away because this sale that says it's going on until 2029 is still happening and I assume they're going to be taking that down soon. The sale wasn't supposed to last this long in the first place so I would recommend grabbing your styling studio supplies before they inevitably change this and fix it but I don't know maybe it is going until 2029. I kind of doubt it but maybe. We'll see. And let's see if my quests actually cooperate with me today. No they're not going to so I can't show you an example. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah I'll see you at my funeral. I will. I'll see all of you at my funeral especially you snow slorg and you'll be smiling you will i know you will you hate me and you'll be clapping over my casket but code stones have been added into the daily quest prizes so like mao code stones i don't think people have been seeing red code stones but i don't know I don't think so. I think it's only brown code stones, but that should help a little bit with inflation. I've seen code stones go down a little bit, but not that much. It's been a couple weeks since this happened. Cool. Thank you for the drum charm. That's great. Okay. But that is like the first thing we've seen in terms of updating the prize pool. So maybe we could be getting some new weekly prizes soon. I'm excited to see where that goes. A lot of people have been asking like vehemently when the new prizes are going to come out and Dom's just kind of been like, well, we don't know, which is what Dom says about everything but that's fine, you know, it's okay. I'm curious what you guys want to see in the next prize pool. I'm hoping for some TCG cards, honestly, because those are very high. We've seen a couple stamps be deflated through the advent calendar and through daily quests, so maybe some TCG cards would be nice. Maybe some old rare item code things. Oh, look at him. Would you look at him? Incredible. In fucking credible. Love to see him. So cute. Oh my god, look at her too. Do we see this as a country? Do we see this? Look at her stop anyway sorry i'm just doing my little restocking moment right now but i'm really pumped tnt seems to be actually keeping on top of everything they seem to be rolling things out around the correct times you know like they haven't really disappointed on anything yet the other thing we've got going on right now is neopass jelly neo has all of this information if you'd like it in a super digestible format but neopass has started rolling out
coming out and beta testers are getting their first look at it. One thing that has been mentioned is that you will not be able to change your Neopass email address. So whatever you sign up to Neopass with is going to be your permanent email address. A lot of people are saying that that's only a current issue and it could be changed later, but for now, be really careful. Make sure it's an email you feel like you're going to have access to for a while. Who knows when it's going to be fixed. With Neopets, you can have four side accounts and one main account, and you will be able to switch main accounts with Neopass, but you can only do it every 30 days, so be careful about that as well. Make sure you know which account you want to be your main account, and be very careful of how you interact with it. There's a whole host of FAQs for Neopass, but that's what we know for now, and the beta testers are liking it, I think, from what I've seen. If you are a Neopass beta tester and you are allowed to say anything, please feel free to comment because I'm interested. I, for one, don't really know how I feel at the moment, like I think it's going to be really helpful, but I'm also a little bit scared because of Neopets security issues, so we'll see. Either way, I'm interested in how this pans out. I think Neopass is a good idea because side accounts have always been very volatile, so I feel like there had to be some sort of solution. In terms of NC news, we've also gotten the new expressions capsule, which has a lot of the cute eyes, like a simple mouth, that kind of thing that people have been using to create monstrosities, but what I'm really here for is the new set of spring dye works. We have the mutant butterfly accessory, which comes in pink, orange, and blue, a baby snow bunny plushie, which is baby only, but it's so cute. Oh my god. Moroccan basket of seashells, and the charming mushroom cap, which I am, oh my god, I'm so excited about this. The blue mushroom cap right here, the pink mushroom cap, it kills me. Some spoilers right here for what I'm going to talk about in a minute, but you probably already heard by now. I need to see the mushroom caps used on like a stupid little white poogle or something. Can you imagine? with the simple eyes. That bitch ain't thinking. Oh my god, that bitch ain't thinking. I'm so excited. We also have the pastel dye dress, the breezy cherry blossom filter, which I believe was pretty high in owls before, and I believe trapped in a jar and ombre cloud garland were also pretty high in owls before. That ombre cloud garland is gorgeous, so is the end of the rainbow beam, and we have like some pastel versions of everything, which is great. And of course, we have the magical fairy glade background, which is gorgeous by itself, so I love the dye works. We have like a pink, a green, and a black. Ugh. Are you kidding me? Look at that black. And the black cherry blossoms. Oh my god. Purple too. We've seemed to have a pretty good haul with the NC Mall lately. I've seen a lot of cute things. And I kind of really want to get one of these mini baby colors. If you haven't seen these, they completely alter the color of your baby Neopet, which before now was kind of impossible to do. So I'm so excited about this. I really want a purple baby Aisha. So if anybody has the purple paint, um, check out my DTI wish list. It's Salem Ophelia. I'd really like one. Thank you. <laughs> but these are all of the colors. They should be on screen right now. Oh my god, so gorgeous. They do change the entire color scheme most of the time, so the accent colors are also just kind of deep your light and shades of that color. I don't know. I feel like the NC Mall is kind of eating lately, but I'm very interested with the whole Neopass thing. I'm interested to see how this goes. Hopefully there will be some more info on that in the next AMA. I always love listening to the AMA because I feel like I'm like doing something. I feel like I'm like, hmm, yes. <laughs> what do you got for me, girl? What do you got for me? Something good, please. I've been disappointed all day. Darn, well, you win some, you lose some. The lava ghoul flies down from a nearby cloud and breathes fire over your pets. Okay. <laughs> Okay, cool. Nice, thank you. Fuck you all. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I've had enough. I need to clear up my inventory so bad. Oh my god, I used to be so good about this, and lately I've just been horrible. I keep clicking on things and seeing that my inventory is full and I'm filled with the rage of like an 11 year old child. It is really very terrible. Tyranian brownies. Okay, cool. Fantastic. I think about Stonehenge a lot. And Pangea. I think about Pangea a lot too. It depends on the day, frankly, but like sometimes I'm just having a Pangea day, I'll be honest. With the live coming up soon, which by the way, is hosted by Amanda, I am so proud of her. Oh my god, don't even talk to me right now. I'm near tears. I am so fucking proud of her, but... <laughs> They set up a straw poll. I'm gonna need everybody here to take a breath, please. So at the top, we have which NCUC pet styles are coming out next. Great, simple, a good question. Hassie? I didn't submit this, by the way. Despite me having an entire Hassie gallery, I did not submit this. This was not me, but I do agree with it. Hamburger, right, okay. Uh-huh. More site-friendly fan service of Canrick, please. Colt Sand's shirt gets to be off, why not his? Let me see him. Guys, 
Do I need to do a Neopet Smasher Pass? Is that what I'm hearing? Do I need to do that? Because I feel like some of you are wrong. Is King Colt Sand single? Is Commander Guru single? You can be with people. You don't need Colt Sand. Screw King Colt Sand. Is King Altador single? Better, but not great. Hey, thanks y'all. You made this freak show a home once more. Real. Lord Cass. Is Dr. Sloth single? You guys can't do that one. I'm sorry. You can't. You can't do that. I'm not happy about King Colt Sand. I'm not happy about it. Uh, not sloth. Not sloth. Please god not sloth. You can't do that to me. Does Dr. Sloth have a six pack or an eight pack? A second is Dr. Sloth single. I love this website. I love the community. I am excited to see what kind of answers we get from this new AMA because it is supposed to be specifically plot themed, so I feel like we could be really digging into it. You know, oh Dom, we're really in it now. We've been dancing around the idea since December, but they've been really good about story updates lately. I feel like we're doing good. I feel like something is given here. But that is pretty much where we're gonna wrap up right now. Just a short little fun update. Also, Unholy is still here and Unholy. I'm kind of thinking I don't love Elena as much as I thought I did, which is annoying, so I might swap her out next time you see me. But I have a feeling that April is gonna be a really exciting month for Neopets. I think we're gonna see a lot of new goodness. I'm excited. Let me know how you guys feel about the plot. Let me know what kind of hints you're picking up right now because I'm stupid and not very observant. And I will see you all next time. Thank you so much to my members. I really appreciate you guys. Stay safe, stay wonderful, my friends, and goodbye.